class. Today I am going to talk about rib ribavirin. Um, I had a really pretty PowerPoint. I was going to put it on my flat screen TV, but it didn't really work out. So I got a little bit more creative. I went ahead and handed you out the uh, PowerPoint slides. I know it's going to be a little small, but um, I am creative. So uh, ribavirin, um, name the class. Um, now what is this drug? Well, it's got a pregnancy risk category very, very high. Uh, the therapeutic class, it is an antiviral. And the pharmacologic class, it's a synthetic nucleoside. Um, when I hear this, I always think about um, our AMP classes when it was talking about the uh, RNA and DNA. Um, maybe that'll help you out too. Um, what is the main indication? Um, why do we use this drug? Well, basically, RSV in infants and young children under 2, um, the therapy lasts between 12 to 18 hours, and that can be daily uh, for 3 to 7 days. Now, us being respiratory students, um, it's very important that we know about this RSV. It's actually given through a SAG machine. I actually tried to find something on YouTube about this bag. Um, I couldn't find anything. Um, it is older, but I did get in touch with a company in California, and I was able to print out a SPAG manual. So on the front, one of these front tables, I have the manual printed out, so if you want to take a look at it. Um, also, ribavirin is used for uh, hepatitis C, which is also known as HCV and uh, HIV. What it does is it actually helps slow down like um, the process or of the disease. Um, you can't use it by itself. You have to use it with another drug it's called interferon. And uh, it doesn't help all people, but it does help some. And uh, it goes based on the patient's weight depending on how long the therapy is. So it could be anywhere between 24 and 48 weeks. It's a long time if you really think about it. Now what are the contraindications? Um, which people should stay away from this drug? Um, let's start with people with the hypersensitive to the drug, naturally, and any of its components. History of significant significant or unstable cardiac disease or sickle cell anemia. Uh, patients with renal impairment and the elderly. Um, women that are pregnant can be pregnant. And also men whose partners are pregnant or plan on being pregnant. Um, that kind of falls back to our pregnancy risk category. It's really important if someone's on treatment and six months after the treatment, they need to use two forms of effective birth control. Um, yeah, two. <laughs> and uh, breastfeeding and children using capsules and tablets. Um, a lot of bad things can happen when kids, um, you know, especially infants and toddlers, try to put capsules and tablets in their mouth. Um, I think we all know that one. Now, what is the main method of action? This should be PowerPoint slide number five. Um, chemical effect. It inhibits the viral activity by an unknown mechanism. We know it's doing something, just not sure what it is. Uh, possibly by inhibiting the RNA and DNA synthesis. Uh, therapeutic effect. It inhibits the RSV activity. Now, how is resovirin used by the body? How does it eliminate it? It's absorbed into the body and is cleared from the plasma within a few hours. It remains in the red blood cells up to several weeks. Uh, the excretion. Most of the drug is excreted through the urine. Um, what are some other names you'll see for this drug? Uh, Copicus. I uh, hope I said that correctly. It comes in tablets. Uh, we got Revitol, that comes in capsules, or solution, which is oral, uh, and virusol.
that is actually what you will see when um, you're talking about the RFD or the SPAG machine. So uh, just remember that. Now, who benefits from robovirin? I put that question as uncertain because it helps some people slow down the process of hepatitis C or HIV. Some people it may have no effect on. Um, most children and infants don't need this drug, so that's why I answered that question. It's uncertain. We really don't know how many people. It does help many, a few, a lot. Okay. Now the side effects. Many, many side effects. Uh, let's just read the first one. Feeling lightheaded, sleepy, blurred vision, a change in thinking clearly. Okay, now you got to remember these people could be taken this drug for, you know, whether it be seven days, continuously almost, what was that, um, 12 to 18 hours, or 24 to 48 hours. So that's a long time feeling a lot of these symptoms. So just keep that in mind. Now, interesting facts. We went over these. Um, I'm going to repeat them. Most infants and children with RSC infection don't need this drug. Now, if RSC, if we get this as an adult, we may just feel some symptoms of a cold or our nose runs a lot. You know, really no big deal for us. Um, the SPAG was manufactured specifically for the administration of this drug to the infants and small children. Um, it must be used with the drug in interferon, and that was to possibly help the slowing down of hepatitis C or HIV. And then remember the two forms of birth control. Now, we do have a special guest. He will be in here shortly. And uh, my references on where I got my information. So, after our guest comes in and um, makes his performance, if you all have any questions, I will uh, take those at the end. Thank you.